a problem for the mathematical classic of Sun Xi in the 3rd century. An unknown number of objects, when counted by threes, two remain, when counted by fives, three remain, and when counted by sevens, two remain. How many things? Sunji's solution, for every unit left when counted by threes, set 70, for every unit left when counted by fives, set 21, and for every unit left when counted by sevens, set 15. And, since we have two left when counted by threes, we'll set down two seventies. Since we have three left when counted by five, we'll set down three twenty ones. And since we have two left when counted by sevens, we'll set down 15 twice. We'll add and subtract 210 to obtain 23, the answer. This is the earliest example of what's known as a Chinese remainder problem. So here's a slightly different perspective on the problem. The amounts left when counting by are the remainders when a number is divided. So when we say, when counted by threes, two remain, well, that's really saying that we have a number with remainder two when divided by three. When counted by fives, three remain, well, that's really saying that we have a number with remainder three when divided by five. And finally, when counted by sevens, two remain, that's really a number with remainder two when divided by seven. So Sun Chi found three set numbers, 70, 21, and 15. And the thing to notice is that if you add 70 to any number, the remainder, when divided by 5 or 7, stays the same, while the remainder, when divided by 3, increases by 1. So, for example, if we take the number 31, if we divide it by 5, 7, or 3, we get remainders of 1, 3, and 1, if we add 70, that makes it 101, dividing by 5 or 7 gives us the same remainder we had, but when we divide by 3, that remainder increases by 1. Similarly, adding 21 doesn't change the remainder when dividing by 3 or 7, but increases the remainder by 1 when dividing by 5, and adding 15 won't change the remainder when dividing by 3 or 5, but increases the remainder by 1 when dividing by 7. And so the important thing here is adding any one of these set numbers changes exactly one of the remainders. And finally, subtracting 210 won't change the remainder when a number is divided by 3, 5, or 7. And so in general, we can solve this problem as follows. Find our set numbers that change exactly one of the remainders. Then, find a number that changes none of the remainders. And so the thing to recognize here is that our set numbers are multiples of some of the divisors. So 70 is a multiple of 5 and 7, 21 is a multiple of 3 and 7, and 15 is a multiple of 3 and 5, and this final number, 210, is a multiple of 3, 5, and 7. And so all of these numbers are multiples of some or all of the divisors. So let's try this on a simple problem. Let's find the smallest number that leaves a remainder of 3 when divided by 8, and a remainder of 2 when divided by 7, and let's also find those set numbers. So we want to find a multiple of the other divisors. So when I want to leave a remainder of 3 when divided by 8, I want to find a multiple of 7 that leaves 1 when divided by 8. So let's find the remainders when multiples of 7 are divided by 8. And here, 49 divided by 8 leaves us remainder 1, and so we can say that for every unit left when counting by 8, set 49. Now, the other divisor is going to be 7, 
So we want to find a multiple of 8 that leaves the remainder 1 when divided by 7. Well, that's actually pretty easy because 8 itself leaves the remainder 1. And so we can say that for every unit left when counting by 7, set 8. And so now for our solution. We have a remainder of 3 when divided by 8, and so for every unit left, we're going to set down 49. So we'll set down 3 49s. We have remainder 2 when divided by 7, so for every unit left, we'll set down an 8, so we'll set down 2 8s. We'll add them up. And if we add or subtract 7 times 8, 56, we won't change the remainders when dividing by 7 or by 8. And so we can reduce this solution by 56 repeatedly to get smaller solutions. And we find our smallest solution will be 51. How about a problem with three divisors? So our divisors are 5, 7, and 12. So if I want to change only the remainder when dividing by 5, we want to find the smallest multiple of 7 times 12, 84, that leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by 5. So we'll check our remainders. And we find that 336 fits this requirement, and so we can say that for every unit left when counting by 5, set 336. Next, if I want to change my remainder when dividing by 7, but not by 5 or 12, we want to find the smallest multiple of 5 times 12, 60, that leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by 7. And so we check. And we find that 120 works, and so for every unit left when counting by 7s, set 120. And finally, if I want to change the remainder when dividing by 12 but not by 7 or by 5, I want to find the smallest multiple of 5 times 7, 35, that leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by 12. So checking our remainders. We find that 385 works, and so for every unit left when counting by 12s, set 385. And since when counting by 5s, 2 remains, I'll set down 336 twice. When counting by 7s, 4 remains, so I'll set down 120 4 times. And when counting by 12s, 2 remain, so I'll set down 385 twice, add them up and get... And we can reduce this by 5 times 7 times 12, 420, to get smaller solutions. And so our smallest solution is... 242.